Hello there, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway here, and uh, coming at you today from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I'm in my favorite Arch Linux uh, distro, Salient OS. And today I want to talk about uh, two or three different uh, terminal emulators uh, and the uses of those uh, in the terminal that make my life a lot easier. Uh, and before we get started, though, I would like to say I, I thank everybody for subscribing to my uh, channel on YouTube. Thank you for liking my uh, videos. Uh, my subscribership is going up. I, I really appreciate that. And I hope that the videos that I uh, create for you are helping you out. And you need to let me know. Just uh, reply down in the comments under the videos. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. So today I want to get in here first. And let's go over to uh, the web. And there's one particular uh, file manager that I really like. I've started using. And uh, it is a uh, file manager with InCurses interface. It's actually a file manager you use in the terminal. And if you're familiar with Vim, which is the Vi improved or modified uh, interface, uh, it's a text you know editor. Vi is Vim is the modern version. If you're familiar with that, well, the Vifm gives you a file manager capability with VI interface, okay? So let me show you what it looks like. If you come over here, I've got it already installed and I've got a button here to click on. And so this is the VIFM um, file manager in the terminal, okay? And so here I am, I'm in the terminal now and I'm in the VIFM. Um, if I come on up, I'm in the, you can see at the top of the screen here, I'm in my home directory documents folder or a directory, okay? I've got a directory here called audio settings. If I hover over that and then hit enter key, it brings up, um, you know, the images here. If I want to go up the tree here, I can just go up to there. If I go up the tree again, I can go there. Let's say I want to get into the downloads directory. I click that, hit the enter key. Um, let's say I want to get into the salient um, osv whatever dot text. All right, so I hover over it or down arrow to it and hit it and it opens up. And so this this is like a, a Vi uh, interface, okay, Vim. If I hit the I, I can insert, okay. And you can see insert down here at the bottom. So this is just like using uh, Vim in the terminal, a regular terminal except I'm in a file manager interface at the same time. If I want to get out of this, just like in Vim, I hit escape, colon, QA, and exclamation mark, and get out of it, close the Vim terminal. Um, but I'm still in the file manager here. So uh, if I want to go over to uh, there, I just hit the right arrow. Uh, I got back in Vim again, so let me do I and then escape. QA exclamation, get back out of it again. Uh, if I hit the tab key, uh, not the tab key, but the uh, space bar, it takes me from left to right um, screen, okay? So in the documents uh, directory here, um, I did it again. Uh, let me get back out of it. Okay. Um, I can come up the tree here and come down to, uh, let's say, scripts, a scripts folder. I got a couple of scripts in here. Start Compton, Uberzug example.sh. Okay. Okay, so this is, um, this is VIFM. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I mean, I could be in the terminal. I can fire up uh, the VIFM. I can go in here and I can work with uh, with files as if I were in a regular terminal, except it's a file manager as well. Uh, let's say I want to get up to the file system itself, and let's say I want to go to the Etsy directory. I can do that. And uh, let's say I come down to conf.d. That's a directory. Notice the trailing slash, forward slash there. This indicates that these are directories, not files. Okay. So in the uh, conf D, if I hit the uh, enter key there, 
um, you know, it shows the comp the uh, contents of that. Uh, let's come down to let's something else here. Let's say grub.d, okay, hit the enter key. I want to come down to uh, the readme and then hit enter, and that's going to open up the readme so I can can just, you know, look at the readme while I'm in uh, the terminal. Uh, you know, I can go through the entire system here in a file manager type perspective using an in curses type uh, arrangement here, um, which is really nice. All right, so let me get out of this. So that's VIFM, okay? Let me get out of it by going ahead and hit the X there to get out of it. Second thing I want to show you is another um, uh, file manager, okay, that runs in a terminal, which is called Ranger. And here's uh, on Network World, there's a, an article about Linux Ranger. Uh, I didn't know about this until a couple days ago. Uh, I really like it. Uh, let me show you how to use it. Uh, you just pull up a regular terminal emulation. So I'm going to use the XFCE terminal. I'm going to bring up the full screen here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I want to just type in Ranger. You have to install it in Arch. It doesn't come out of the box. At least it doesn't in Salient, Salient OS. So I want to type the word Ranger, hit Enter. And here it is. Okay, so this is a file manager uh, utility. Uh, terminal, if you will, in Linux uh, that lets you um, navigate your file system in the terminal. Okay. Neat thing about it is if I come over to pictures, for instance, and I go over to the pictures here and pull up something that I want to look at, like say that particular file right there. It's a J JPEG. If I hit the enter key, it launches uh, an application to look at it. You know, this is really cool. Uh, I mean, I'm in, and I'm still in the terminal, you know. Uh, so let's let's go down to another one here. Uh, this one here. All right. So I mean, this is really nice that you can do that. Um, and let's see. Let's go on over. Let's look at uh, documents. Okay. Hit the enter key. Let's go over. Let's go down to. Uh, encrypting the archive file system. You can see off to the right hand side there it's showing the contents of the file in the window there. Um, Installed.txt, that's a listing of all my installed applications. List of packages, that's a, another list of packages on my system. Splitting archive, if I hit the enter key it's going to pull up um, actually opens up uh, I believe I'm really not sure what that is to be honest but it it's pulling that up to show me the contents of that particular file that is Ranger you know I really like Ranger if I want to get into the file system itself I just move the left arrow beyond data pioneer and get into the file system okay so nice little uh, application for file management in the terminal and then the third thing I want to show you before we uh, end this particular video, it's going to be a short one today, is called Terminator. And if you've never used Terminator, uh, you've got to use it because unlike your regular uh, terminals, Terminator lets you uh, resize your windows and use more than one window at a time. So let me show you what that looks like. Let me get back out here to another workspace. And I've got Terminator installed. I had to install that as well. I use PAMIC to install it in Arch Linux. So let me click on it. And that's going to open up to a full screen, okay, which is really nice. Now here's what's nice about it. I mean, I can run, you know, a command, just like a regular terminal. But let's say that I had a need for another terminal, and I didn't necessarily want to go back out to the desktop and right-click, open up another terminal, uh, and then kind of, you know, manipulate between two, two terminal sessions here. What I can do is I can hold the control key down, the shift key, and hit E, and I can split the screen vertically. So I've got um, a left terminal and a right terminal. All right. So what I'm going to do here to demonstrate this, I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to start that counter that I had. If you've watched in a previous video, I've got a counter that's running. So there's something going on in the left screen. So that, to do that, I'm just going to do a, 
dot forward slash counter dot sh and let it start running. It just counts counter one, waits a second, sleeps a second, counter two, sleeps a second. It just keeps counting all the way up to 10,000. So something's going on over here. And while that's going on, I can go back over here and I can do a... Uh, notice that the on the right it's still going, on the left rather, it's still going. I can run a DF human readable and, you know, I can work in this terminal over here while this one's still running. I could be installing something over here on the left, you know, while I'm working on the right. And let's say all of a sudden I need another terminal here. I'm on the right-hand side. I need another terminal. What I can do, if I don't want to open up another one on the left, vertically, I can do a control uh, shift and an O, and I can open up a terminal here at the bottom. And I can keep opening these terminals over and over, getting it smaller and smaller if I want to. But, you know, what? it's really nice that you can do that. I'm going to run that counter program here. So that can be running while we're we're doing stuff. And then let's say I want to do uh, an update of my system while I'm waiting. Do refurb and then uh, put in the password for Data Pioneer. And so while I've got two counters running and two different terminal windows, you know, I can be updating my system here in that lower quadrant there. And um, and it, none of them interfere with each other, which is really nice. That's Terminator. I really like Terminator because it gives me a lot of flexibility. So let me go ahead and exit. And when you exit, that closes that window altogether. If I want to uh, shut down this counter and exit here, it closes that one. And I'm going to shut down this counter here and then exit that one as well. And so it takes me back to the uh, the desktop. What I'm going to do is I want to leave a link to all three of these down in the uh, below the video on the uh, uh, Linux Unix Tech Channel. Let you go take a look at those yourself. But anyway, if you like this video, if it helped you out, um, give me a shout out. You know, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. You will need to subscribe to leave a comment, so you can do that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you like or dislike about my videos. And um, I'll keep doing them. So I appreciate it. Have a nice day. Take care.